Hi, my name is Mr. Bizela. Professionally, I'm a web designer, digital marketer, and a blogger. For quite some time, I've been doing, um, I've been trying to overcome stage fright so I could be able to appear on camera and talk about so many things, especially my life experiences, which I believe can inspire a lot of people. Um, I didn't intend to do any video this early, so I don't know whether this video will go to any of my social media platforms or not. So if you do find it on any of my social media platforms, do uh, like or share or give your impression about it or even positive or negative, I like critics. So this video, I just thought I should do it at its season because I didn't intend to do a video this early. I was just coming back home and uh, something just told me, why shouldn't I just do this video like um, try or like see my confidence on camera and it falls at the season where I've always liked to talk about this particular thing. You know, this is Easter and uh, it's a season where most people, most uh, non-Christian religion, religions, they always like to come up and start preaching. Like Jehovah Witnesses, this is the time they, they do print uh, banners, they do print uh, magazines or, 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 or how do they call that a magazine? To sensitize people to say that Jesus, uh, Jesus did not resurrect on this particular period of time or we should not celebrate the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Some even, um, like some atheists, they do believe Jesus did not even live on earth. Like Jesus, there's not even Jesus, no God. Like, and the Jews, they argue that Jesus did not resurrect. They say uh, the body of Jesus Christ was stolen. And uh, Muslims, they say Jesus, uh, Jesus did not even die on the cross. Jesus transformed into Judas and Judas was killed and Jesus went away and never returned. So I'm not here to talk about what other people do believe about uh, Jesus, but I'm here to talk about the proofs that Jesus did resurrect. If you are uh, on the point that Jesus uh, never existed or Jesus never died or whatsoever, we can talk about that on a different day. But today I just want to give proofs to the fact that Jesus did resurrect. I'm not like trying to say that Jesus did resurrect on, on, on Easter on this particular time of the season, but I'm just throwing light on the fact that Jesus did die and resurrect. So the first proof to show that Jesus did resurrect was uh, is the fact that women were the first eyewitnesses to his resurrection. Now why am I saying this? Back in the days of Jesus, women were regarded as the class citizens. Like a woman was not supposed to talk when men are talking. So when you when you see that women were the first people who arrived at the tomb and found that the tomb was already empty, and they came out with strength, like they came back and were the first to see that no, these things were saying we saw it like they overcame that fear, they overcame that tradition, that that culture of that they were not supposed to talk when men were talking, but they overcame that culture and spoke and said that no, this particular thing we are talking about, we saw it, we we saw it, we didn't see him in the in, in the tomb. You know when you think of that, it is. Um, it, that means something really pushed them. That means something was, they really saw something and to have that courage, that means something um, really motivated them. So now, on the second proof, uh, the second proof that Jesus did resurrect is the fact that his body was never found. Like, remember, Jesus was killed by the chief priests, the Pharisees, and most of those people who were religious leaders and um, the richest people in the community, they were include, uh, tax collectors inclusive. These were the richest people in the community in, by that time, and they could do anything, they could sponsor anything, they could do absolutely anything to prove that Jesus did not have the power that he claimed that he had. To the extent that when Jesus was buried, they left um, the guards, like to guard the tomb so that his disciples, his apostles, should not come and steal the body and then claim that he resurrected. But at the end of the day, they did not, Jesus, um, the apostles preached the resurrection of Jesus Christ, but they did not, they, they, the body of Jesus was never found anywhere. Like, Jesus was never found anywhere. The tomb was empty and they never saw him. Like, they never saw him. So, it is a very big proof because had it been Jesus did not resurrect, they would have used their power, their money, and everything to disprove the apostles. But they ended, up, they ended up trying to just kill the apostles that know he should not preach in this name. But where was the body of Jesus? It was not found. So that means he did resurrect and uh, went up to heaven as he promised. Then the third proof to show that Jesus did resurrect, Jesus resurrected should be um, the apostles and the courage. Now, when you look in the Bible, I, I normally don't read um, the Bible and two verses like uh, the case of the apostles, disciples of Emmaus. You know, when Jesus, when, when, when they, they, they thought that Jesus had not resurrected, they were going back to their village and like, they were discouraged. They were like, ah, this guy made us believe in him and 
now what believed in him and all the things he said he was going to do, he has not done any. But you, you see that at the end of the day, they came back now and they were preaching with power, they were preaching with might, they were so confident that even when they were killing them, they believed that what they were saying was true. That means they, it, it, is, it proves that they did, they did see something, they saw something that was really motivating them. They saw something that was giving them the courage to the extent that even at death, they stood and they were preaching it and even even to the point that they were killing them. So, um, remember the case of Stephen, he was stoned. He was stoned and even dying, he was still believing, holding to his faith, saying that he had seen Jesus. So, um, another proof to show that Jesus resurrected is uh, the conversion of Paul. Like, you know, Paul was, Paul's, Paul found, Paul was, Paul was even, Paul was even the one who ordered the stoning of Stephen. Paul was, um, Paul's assignment was to kill the apostles, to kill anybody who was uh, preaching about Jesus Christ. But now at the end of the day, he came back and he was the one who was preaching Jesus with power, with, with confidence, with absolute confidence, absolute authority. Now it, it proves that something did, it proves that something did um, touch him, like he did see something. He saw something. So had it been he did not see anything, he would have continued killing the apostles. But he discovered that at the end of the day, he's the highest author that have written most part of the New Testament. So I do not even intend to do a video. It might be short, it might be long, six minutes something. I think it's a very long video. So I do not intend, this is like a trial video. Like I said, I don't know whether it will go on any of my social media platforms. It's going to be poor, especially with the fact that it is my first video and uh, I, I do have a very poor audio and video attitude. So just if you, if you find it on any social media platform this i don't intend to share but if you do find it on any social media platform please share with your friends or give your own comments like give your own impression about the video thank you very much for watching i'll see you when i start dropping the video but this might this might be my first video thank you very much for watching god bless you